Hey, we just got back from, um, Tasha woke up and then we went to Slim Chickens. It's in South Haven, Mississippi. So that video is already out. Uh, it's a food review. Um, I was about to tell you all about it, but you got to watch the food review. It's called Slim Chickens uh, or Slim Chicken. Uh, met the GM there and the manager, really nice people. So uh, like I said, check that video out. We're actually going to get a saw. I got a saw in here that uh, we're going to dig for some worms and actually not even dig. We're going to bring a shovel just in case, but uh, grunting for worms, I think it's called. Uh, you make a sound, you kind of grunt kind of grunt on a, 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 a piece of wood. You can put a piece of wood in the ground and shave like a piece of metal over it, which maybe some, I don't know, but it's supposed to make a grunt like a groundhog or gopher, like a gopher. And they, the, the, the worm's supposed to be scared and come up to the top because they think the go, uh, uh, gopher's coming for them. Um, or you could use a saw. So we're just starting this for the first time. We're gonna use a saw. I think the metal deal is gonna work better. But for today, I think we're gonna use a hand saw and, and saw on, a, on, a, on like a, a tree stem coming up from the ground, which is actually gonna be, uh, the roots gonna be down there and to make vibrations and blah, blah, blah. We'll see how it goes. I'll videotape a little bit of it. I think she's gonna videotape it for her channel in the future. So when she does put videos up, that Tasha have it for, uh, for her channel. So let me, uh, let me get in this truck and, and we're gonna get out of here in a second and I'll meet you in the woods. Okay, we're here at the entrance to the woods here. Uh, we're gonna dig up some worms, like I said. Uh, we, we saw some stuff on the internet and we're gonna try it out for the first time. Let her uh, figure out where we're going. Where's the best spot for the worms since she knows where to catch fish at. So, uh, this is where I did the bear, uh, the bear thing. Should we do it like up in there? Yeah, like when I did the, where I did. Like a trail yeah, where, this is where I did the bear. Uh, Bear I'm familiar. I'm familiar with this location. Hey guys. I'm in the woods in a bear's natural habitat. Uh, they said no people out. It's a curfew. No people outside. So what best place to do is be in the forest like a bear scavenging for food. Ain't nothing like following somebody crazy through the forest. Okay, I think we see a, a, an opening right here is a good spot. So right here is a good spot as any. Right about there, folks. So let me... uh. Let me get this set up and we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. Uh, I don't know, let me put this uh, on a tree for you guys can see us. Be back in a second. Okay, I'm in this location here and uh, this tree here we're gonna try on. I believe the grunting thing when they used a metal deal across that wood probably better, but we, we don't even know. Back to this poison oak. Get this poison oak out the way, poison ivy. I don't think you have to put it like all the way down. I was just gonna like kind of just make that sound. They say you gotta do it for like five minutes or so. No, like they cut it. So you wanna cut the whole thing off? Yeah. Because like I was just gonna kind of like make that sound. So I'd go ahead and cut it all the way off and kill Mother Nature. Because they was cutting it and then they was cutting across the top of it. Like. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I just didn't want to kill Mother Nature. But I don't, if you don't care, you don't care. Screw her. I'm just messing with her, guys. She, she gets that all day long. 
Are you recording it or no? No, no. You gotta record me cutting it like what are we doing? She's new, guys. She's new to <laughs> vlogging, okay? Go ahead. That's that's Tasha. Hey, Ashi 13. So please get on her channel. Uh, but go ahead. If you want to, um, I can pretend like I'm cutting it on her channel. So shh. Okay. There you go. Already cut that down. What are we doing now? We're going to just do this. Like that? Yeah. It's shaking the ground. Yeah, it's supposed to like vibrate the roof. Yeah, it's vibrating right here, so I guess the ground. Oh yeah, I feel it. I feel I feel the vibration. Is that a song? Good, good, good vibration. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That, that wasn't though. Okay. So we're gonna do this for about three days. Not <laughs> about three days. No. He said to keep on. I saw the guy doing like kind of like that. See, oh, that's a grunt. That's a grunt. You get me? Can I be in the picture too? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Dude. I'm just messing with you. I know. I do. I want you to look at what you're doing. So okay. You be well, I'm a, I got to get it this way. I got a camera too, so we got to. There we go. I like that. And you got to. You got to kind of get into it, like. Got. to Kind of. Be one with the root. We see any? We see anything yet? You want to clear the ground off first, like? Well, I was gonna clear the ground, so maybe you'll see better. They should just be popping up. Like, come get me right now. I want to catfish them. I want to get inside of a catfish. Okay. It's gonna be a long video. Well, maybe we should have got a piece of metal, like you said, and tried to do this. Yeah, the grunt thing grunt too. Thing. Maybe, maybe another video. We'll put it on the same video. We'll just come out another day or. When we find one, maybe tomorrow, and piece it in. I'm thinking yeah, this will work. I think this would be pretty good because it's uh, it's the roots and stuff. So. We'll, I don't see any. Roots. Well, he said about five minutes. He said, "Don't give up." I think we clear this out better though. I gotta. Do I get a rake in the back of my truck or no? I took it to the other. Okay. I can do this one so you can. No, I could do this. I was just trying to get this cleared. I mean, we ain't got to clear like anything. They just gonna. Well, I gotta see it. I know. I'm looking. Okay, I'm gonna let you see then. You're good. You're good. Guys, I'm sweating anyway because I just sweat a lot. You want to put a hyper link, a hyper thing? Okay. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, we um we did get a couple of them over here. Where does they go? Um, there's one right there's here, one right there's there. One over here. and where's that one right there? They're kind of slim there, but um they are coming up. So if there's some bigger ones out here, they'll probably be coming up too. But uh, we've been out here only like a few minutes, and we didn't even use the shovel yet. So we're gonna keep on keep on keeping on with them and see see if we can get some more. Uh, I'll try to do this in real time. And probably just fast forward it. Uh, probably be better. So let me uh, let me do that. Okay. So that's all I've been doing. Just kind of just doing this, kind of make a like a grunt sound, like a vibration down here. And I did it for about five minutes. He did say do it for you know for a while. Don't just give up right away. But uh, it seems to work. But hopefully some bigger ones come up. The little ones are really hard to get on that hook. You gotta get about four of those on one hook to get a nice catfish. Yeah. See, the big ones have some kind of juice in there. They some little juice. I was just doing this too, but. This is where it's better up here. So kind of, you don't have to do it co continuously like that. I think the guy was just doing that with the board like that. 
but he was getting into it like he was getting into it like he was uh he was making love to that thing that piece of wood he was like there's a technique to it there ain't just like you know i think there's a technique where you just like you're playing a bass guitar or something i don't know and you think you gotta talk like this you gotta talk like this in the woods and you get this you get this here like this like here over yonder and you just get this just okay i'll stop because she probably wants to smack me in the head okay well i thought that would help oh man you're giving up too easy okay uh we can Maybe I think we stop for a minute and then they come up. Who knows? He's coughing, make sure he knows we he there. You know, in the bear, you don't want to sneak up on the bear. You don't sneak up on the bear. You're supposed to make some noise. So, so uh, go over there and make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if you're in the woods with the bear guys, you don't want to sneak up on them. You want to make noise. Don't startle them because they'll scare them and they'll try to attack you. But if it's, I don't know if it's brown, lay down, black, get back. I mean, if it want to attack you, it is just going to attack you anyway. I don't know which one it is though. No, black, black bears no, might be the ones where you lay down and they're supposed to sniff you and they don't want, to, but the ones that want to just maul you to death, no matter what. So you're going to lay down and take your chance. I probably won't, but I'm just saying what people say. Because <laughs> I'm going to run off. Cause you're not gonna stop and look what color bear what number 33 jet black 2 ib40 was that girl that had ib30 hair ib30 ib36.2 so you're not gonna see what color weave that bear has so we're gonna go to another spot and we'll show you uh, the outcome once we once we get over there unless the bear's over there then we're gonna run go post stop recording Okay hey guys, changing plans. We're gonna go to our other disclosed location where we know there's some nice sized worms and we're gonna try this technique. But we did see it did work. Uh, worms just don't normally come up to the ground unless it's raining and they're trying to get from not drowning. But we did get a few of them. Um, but we will try this other location and probably we should have some good, uh, let me wait for her so no Sasquatches. So no Sasquatches will get her. Okay. She has sticks. We brought sticks with us, so we're gonna hammer it into the ground and um, do that and try our luck. So we'll meet you over there and uh, see what's up. Go post stop recording. Okay, guys, we're in the other disclosed location. We covered this up because worms actually like to. Uh, Hide under this mess. You can go ahead. Right now we're taking a little cover that we put out. I mean put on the ground. So we're gonna see if you can make the worms come up with us without those cameras to constantly dig in the little spots that we dig in. Okay. You wanna try um let's try the stick first. Like we did over there. Yeah. Okay. So grimmy one stick and a, and what we're gonna do is, is uh, hammer this into the ground and um, do the same thing we did over there with the saw and see if the saw works first. Well, we already know that the worm's in here. Okay, the saw. saw. And uh, let me see. I was gonna try to do the other, uh, the grunts, like with the metal. Well, I was gonna do the, the same wood. exact thing we did over there and see if this worked like this work. It's wired already. Okay, because this was already pretty loose, so we're just gonna keep doing this real quick. I'll just do this, because it's shaking the, the ground. It's coming up. There you go. All right, guys, we got worms right here. Yeah, they all coming out the ground. Yeah, look at, oh, look at that. Pull that camera down just a little bit for them, too. There you go. All okay, right, well, start plucking them up. Yeah, we knew there was some over here. They said just for about five minutes or so, but hell, he's only out here like 30 seconds. I want to see if some of the big ones come up. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well, you want to grab those before they go back in, though? And we can do have some for some nice little bluegill, some brown. Okay, you want to, now you want me to try the other thing or just keep doing this real quick? I want to try to do the grunt thing. There's another one. Huh? Another one? Yeah, they yep, all. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, they Well, you don't want to get the little ones, I guess. We'll let the little ones go. Yeah, they, they don't like that at all. We're doing better over here already. Okay. Now you want me to try the metal? I should have got some of those first. Here. I'm a Boy Scout. Look at that. You need two or just one? Two. Okay. Save one for a rainy day. Okay, um, I'm going to try. I don't think this is going to work very well. I don't want to do it. Yeah, it's not even making a sound. He had something on his where. I'm try it that one's like, a, like a file. There we go. So he might just have a piece of metal. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Look, they got more coming up. That's a thick one. Well, not as thick as good. You gotta think like a, like a gopher. So I guess they prove that true that worms do not like for the ground to. Yeah, they think, well, they think it's a predator. That's the mm -hmm. grunting sound of the gopher or groundhog or whatever the heck it is, gopher. So it's the, I guess they're, they're scared of the predator and they're coming out so they can't eat them in the ground. Mm -hmm. They're gonna want up over there by Miss, I got gloves. Real big yeah, I can throw them back, I guess. Those You're welcome, Peter. You're welcome, Peter. Doing here. Oh. Yeah, you're trying to be <laughs> Do a face plant. Pay attention. That was one under my foot. That's a big one. So I guess, yeah. Let's just do that. Like they're doing the pitchfork on that one thing. Yeah, they were doing that too. We're going to try all different methods here because we don't know. Get a tuba. Get a tuba and come out here. They was doing. Do, they had a. They had a tuba out here too doing that. They had a tuba on the ground. Going, blah, blah, blah. I guess you get an 18 inch speaker and an amplifier and put it on the ground. <laughs> we ain't going through all that. I think the weed eater didn't work and the chainsaw didn't work great. I think it's just this the sound though. Stretch out and get out there, don't they? There's no one somewhere over there. This is small. Well. Okay. okay, guys. Do I need nose hairs? I was all up in there for you guys. Nope, look at that. Yeah. Let's try, let's try this again. Let's try putting it in some ground that's not. That's not loose? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing this though. I think all the vibrations though. That cave, do I look caveman? I just did a I don't care to do this. Look a caveman? Yeah. They come right up from under my foot. Cause you in the way. Okay. 
All right, let's try, try that. Yeah, we're gonna get a different piece of metal and really get this going. So we're gonna just sell worms for a living at the vegetable stand with my, my I gotta watch my, my chicken though. I'm on a leash, eat all the worms. No, with my live, 24 hour live going on. She, she ain't a fan of that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Miss Tasha out there doing some grunting, some grunt work. Huh? I think I might be a better wormer. She might be a better fisher, fisher person, angler. Yep, you gotta be one with the the ground. Too close yeah they had a, a, a bigger piece of flat iron type deal that they was making a, a of it two by four like, yeah like a two by four yeah so we're gonna get a big two by four next time and do it uh, maybe go in the back and try this but worms are coming up so it does work there's one right there Okay, well, we'll go to another location here, another disclosed location, and show you guys. Then we'll be out of here. Okay, she's mad. She's beating stuff in the ground. No, but we're... I'm a man! Okay, we're going to Okay, you ready? Let's, let's see it. Let's see it happen. Yep. That's purple tape that was supposed to be so nobody steals my stuff. Because men, men, men do not steal stuff with purple on it, purple tools. So if, if, if you're ever wondering, all my tools have purple on it, because men, real men, do not use tools that are purple or pink. Huh? I think the ideal thing it makes a <laughs> sound but uh hey it's vibrating the ground so that's one of the things you need so the other one's just that sound we just we're gonna we're, i'm gonna get it i am going to get some kind of i think we get a file that'll do it we're that's gonna get something. some kind of metal like that and a piece of wood it might just be a piece of regular wood that you're just rubbing across the the top of the wood like some of that i call it wood. jesus wood it's the old it's wood the old two by fours like the real old i call it jesus wood it's the first generation wood it's 
it's the actual two by fours. Two by fours aren't actually two by four inches. They're like, they're, they're a little less than two by four after they mill it. But the old, the old two by fours, I think we're gonna go try to find one of those and put a stake on it just in case vampires are out here as well. And then we can um, kill two birds with one stone, one stick. I don't see none coming up. All right, let, let me do it. She's only good fishing. I, I'm good at catching worms. So let me, uh, let me show her who's the boss. Okay, here we go. Move over, bacon. Then when something come up, you can say, I helped out with that. I did, I started them up. Yep. It's not working on that one. That grip right, that grip tight. That wood that uh like them lead pencils, them rubber pencils, the lead. You know that. There's smooth. a path through there. They just do that? No, that fence been cut like that. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, I know, know there was like the fence messed up right there. Yeah, I think he did. I didn't. I didn't know nothing about it. There's a grunt. Yeah. Hear it? Oh, I got it, I got it. Let me get you. Stop, excuse me. There we go, I got that grunt thing going down. There we go. So that's the sound you need, kinda. And you gotta talk like this, guys. You gotta talk kind of like this while you're doing it. No, you don't. Gotta get down there like this. They come on, come on to the top. They gonna come to the top real quick, like, like I said. <laughs> Yee a bird's calling their friends over. They said, "I got that grunt down, guys. Come on over." I think these worms are deaf. <laughs> Gotta be patient, young grasshopper. If you ever got gas and you want to do it, just time it right and they don't know. Like that was a good one, wasn't it? Well, if you do something stupid, get it on tape. Don't stop recording. Is it stopped? No. GoPro stopped recording this. Okay, up, update. Um, we went ahead and started digging. Uh, wasn't working too great out here, but I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna figure out another time, another, uh, a better uh, technique with a two by four or something like that. Um, I know people's gonna say, hey, do the, 
do the uh, electricity with stuff. They had screwdrivers in the ground and I'm not gonna walk around the woods with GoPuster with a pack and, and mess with that. So I'm not gonna deal with the electricity deal. Um, but we'll try different different other methods. Uh, I'm not gonna do the soap either. The soap you have to wash off, I heard, and I'm not gonna do that as well. So uh, we're gonna dig for today um, and then um, try our luck another time and we'll do another video on that. So we'll just let you know when we get out of here pretty much uh, how we did. Well, so far, so far. Well, I could show you, but she's moving the bucket around. Okay. They could look in there. They could look in there. Okay. We got that many so far. So uh, we're doing pretty good. They're just, they're not big, big. Yeah, I would like for them to be, I like would be a little bit, a little bit bigger. That's what, that's what she said. But uh, hey, you gotta work with what you got, okay? So. Let me um, get this finished up before the uh, this, the the dark uh, comes upon us. Because if you know, we got about an hour and a half. You got a whole hand, whole hand. So that's an Indian thing. I'm not sure if that's the the, the, the technical three fingers is 45 minutes. But you got about a whole hand and a half. Okay. So that's what she said. Okay. Let me get out of here and. Um, just get the heck out of here before the walkers come. Go post stop recording. On our way home, uh, we are, um, we did pretty good with the worms, but just uh, not with the grunting. Yeah, kind of gave up and went yeah. just old school. Old school, digging. yeah. <laughs> so we did get some okay worms. They're not like the bigger worms. I really wanted to put one worm on a, on a hook. I probably got to put a couple of these or a few. But we have enough to do some fishing. And I do have some uh, cricket. Oh, not just chicken blood. I got grasshopper blood, too. That's what's going to be the, the thing right there. <laughs> That's she keeps laughing about it. I'm serious. So it's all fun and games to her. So. Okay, well, I, I changed oil old, old yesterday. Oil on the, the neck, the last... I had to say yesterday because this is another vlog. Yeah. So, but yesterday. But when they watched the this, it would be yesterday. Well, today's the same day. I changed the oil earlier today, so oh. I, I didn't want to lie to them. But oh, I thought you did it. I thought you actually did it yesterday. No, I actually did the oil today when you were sleeping. Oh, okay. So I showed them how I changed oil a little bit. So. So if you didn't check that vlog out, if I put it on this one or the one before this, I don't know, guys. I just freaking hit record and start putting putting videos out put 20 videos out a week that's what it seems like I know some people want to put one video out one video out a week and I was put two I started doing two lives and two videos that's what I was telling you the GM Neely interstate barbecue oh oh I, I don't know interstate okay we gotta try that place out too at Neely they used to be the married couple on... Um... No, that's the daddy. That's the original one. Oh, original one. Okay. That's his daddy. So I was just about to tell him some lies. Yeah, you was. <laughs> All right, like I knew everything. That's Jim. That's Jim Neely. So their dad, th the ones that are married... Was Pat and Gina, but they're not married anymore. Okay, so whose dad? His or hers? His. His dad, okay. Okay, well... No, say. Oh, my bad. I was going to let you talk. <laughs> I was going to let you talk, so I didn't have to talk a lot. No. I was just letting you know about the, you know, you said you wanted to try the different barbecues and stuff. Yeah, and there's, uh, we're supposed to be trying Dixie Queen sometimes, too, So uh, here in the, That's just a little hood. Yeah. A little hood burger spot in Memphis. So people it's want, not anywhere else. So people want to try me that, so I'm going to try like that. Like local stuff. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with them. So if they get mad at me, like the Whataburger people, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to let you know how it is. Okay? They are slow, but it's cooked fresh. Slow and fresh. It, yeah. uh, but if it's hood, it's probably going to be killed three times. I know when I go to barbecues and I'm <laughs> all, <laughs> hey, I was raised in the street. Everybody burnt their meat. Like, it already got killed twice. I mean, once. So, I, I want my medium. I'll do medium. But medium rare on challenges. But I like medium when I do regular. So, 
Maybe they cook it that for me like that, but if not, I'll take a burnt burger and let you know about it. Okay, well, I'm headed home, and uh, I'm not trying to make this vlog 45 minutes or two hours. Appreciate you guys watching. Next time, like I said, we'll try different methods on the worms and different deals and, and figure out for you guys so you don't have to go through all this mess. I turn left right here. Uh, you can, or you can go to the next one. Hey guys, I gotta go, I gotta drive. Go post stop recording. Okay, it's about to be done with the vlog, but I showed you, I will show you what I cooked last night. Um, this is the Mexican cabbage, okay? Hispanic, Mexican, Spanish, whatever you want to call. I don't know the ethnicity thing. I'm not trying to uh, pee everybody off, but I did make some Hispanic. Is that the what to use, the word to use? Tasha's, Tasha's not answering me. Neither is Jazz. I was saying Hispanic is a better word to use than saying this is Mexican. Okay, this is Hispanic, guys. So Hispanic cabbage. Oh, never mind. This is Spanish cabbage, folks. Spanish. That didn't help. Okay. That's that's uh, Tasha's daughter Jazz in there laughing at me. This, no, you're good. I'll just let them know what the heck's happening in there. Uh, but this is the Asian, Asian persuasion, is that what it's called? Asian cabbage. And I use all condiments, and it was a little hot. Jazz likes this the best, but it was a little spicy. I used a package of the spicy uh, crushed uh, pepper. Um, this one, I can't tell you everything. I put cumin in here. I put uh, uh, chili powder, paprika. A couple of other spices, I can't tell you. It was lime, because it makes it Spanish if you put lime in it. Well, that's what a lot of people think. Uh, this right here, I couldn't leave the Italians out, okay? So Italians, I put this in here, and I did actually mess up at the end. I couldn't find an Italian dressing, so I put ranch in there, and it was diet ranch, so the twang at the end was nasty, a little bit nasty. Uh, Tasha didn't like that. Tasha liked the Spanish the best so jazz like this this one i i'm gonna eat this anyway not all right now of a mukbang or nothing but i was just letting you know that i'm lucky that i get to eat all this and i'm truly lucky because guess who found this tasha found this this is a real this is real folks a five leaf clover okay not a four leaf not a three leaf. I don't know what makes a four leaf clover special anyway because it has extra leaf. But this is a five leaf. It's not a gimmick. It is a real five leaf clover, folks. Never saw one before. If you want to buy this right now, auction right now. I'm auction can I auction it off? It's too late. I already said it. So auction it off. If you guys, the highest bidder by the end of May. Okay? Yes, when this comes, well, this comes out, this probably ain't coming out to June. The end of June, okay? Who wants to be lucky? There you go, okay? I'm already lucky. I already got a pretty girlfriend, so I don't need this. I got to say that because she's in the other room. No, I don't. I'll have to say that. Okay. All right. All right, they're talking about me in another room, but I just want to let you know that that five-leaf clover is for sale. It could be yours for the highest build, bidder June, okay? Highest bidder in June. Uh, where should they bid at? In this video? Yeah, in this video, go ahead and start bidding. Put it on eBay. Can I? What do you start off with? It's going to be on eBay, folks. You look up. The garbage disposal five leaf clover. How about that? Or hey Ashi, should I, what should I do? Hey Ashi thirteen, or cause lucky thirteen, you know. Well, I gotta let them know right now. But what's the title? So they can Google that. Doug Garbage Disposal, Five Leaf Clover. Yeah, that's whatever you put on there. Okay, I'm putting that on there. 
five leaf clover the garbage disposal look that up i will post this june the first so when you're seeing this think this is like june the 9th or 10th you got 20 days 20 days to work hard to get this up to about a thousand dollars okay this is lucky really lucky like five times lucky as a one leaf clover i never saw a one leaf clover I can sell one of those. I can go sell one of those too. Just pluck two leaves off of the three one. No, five leaf clover. I'm done. I'm just so excited that this is a five leaf clover. <coughs> Gotta go. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching this vlog. Um, I appreciate it very much. Share it with your friends. Um, let them know there's a five leaf clover out here for sale on eBay. Talk to you later. GoPro, stop recording. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans. <laughs>